Taylor Swift has a lot of explaining to do because she just appeared on Hollywood Life when this picture of her surfaced onto the internet. I'm sure she doesn't want her current boyfriend Tom Hiddleston to see this picture. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's her performing on stage with this random guy and she goes in for a kiss and she kisses him on the cheek. This guy was a Harvard Business School graduate, but who is he? Taylor Swift was performing an old Nelly song. I've been tracking Taylor Swift's Twitter page and she hasn't said anything. Actually, her last tweet was this. That moment when Kanye West secretly records your phone call, then Kim posts it on the internet. That's super old. There are many more new sources talking about this story because Taylor Swift quickly moved on from Calvin Harris onto Tom Hiddleston within weeks after the breakup. Some people think that she cheated on him with Tom Hiddleston, but that's all speculations, that's all rumors. So who's this new guy that Taylor Swift kissed? I mean, it was just on the cheeks. It's not a big deal, but a lot of you guys think maybe this is cheating as well. I don't think Tom Hiddleston has anything to worry about. How's it going, you guys? I'm Landon, and this is where I talk about the news or anything trending around the world. There's a whole lot of Olympics. There's a whole lot of news in this video, so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so in the last video, I asked you guys, who is your favorite up-and-coming YouTuber? And this is what you guys did right here. Today, let me ask you guys, what event of the Olympics are you most excited to watch? Or if you don't like the Olympics, why don't you guys like it? Okay, so there's so much to talk about today, so let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. There was a horrifying moment when a French gymnast was attempting a double backflip during the qualifying round during the Rio Olympic Games when he snapped his leg. It went and you can hear it. His bone looks to be snapped in half. The sound of the injury echoed around the arena and the crowd was very shocked. The French athlete was just seen there laying on the mat holding onto his legs in so much pain. A medic team quickly ran to his aid. The medic team put him onto a stretcher and then they walked him off from the area. You can see him waving in the air to his fans just to let him know that he's okay. The crowd was cheering him on and clapping. After he was put onto a wheeled cart and the medical team put a leg brace on his leg and then he was rushed to the hospital. I really do hope he's able to recover and compete again. He says he will compete at 2020 Olympics. It just sucks that this year his Olympic dream has ended. Canada, my country, has just won their first Olympic medal. It was a bronze medal in the women's 4x100 meter freestyle relay race. Penny Alicia won the medal and she actually won Canada's second medal as well. I mean, yes, good job. It was a silver medal in the 100 meter race. It was a butterfly race. It was super impressive, especially knowing that she's only 16 years old. I mean, god damn, great way to represent our country, Canada. She is destined for so much more. Michael Phelps just entered in his first race of three races that he's going to be competing in and one of those races is tonight. So the race he was in was the 4 by 100 meter relay race. He was the second swimmer for America and guess what? Of of course, Michael Phelps and the Americans won the gold medal. This was his 19th gold medal and his 23rd medal overall. He is just trying to make it so much harder for anyone else in the future to beat him with the most overall gold medals or even the overall medals in the Olympics. I bet this record stands for decades to come. There was actually another swimmer that was highlighted during last night's events as well, and that's Britain's new golden boy. That's what he's being called. Well, he's 21 years old, Adam Petty. He just won the gold medal for Great Britain. He smashed his own world record as he powered himself through victory in the 100 meter breaststroke in Rio. Serena Williams just lost her first ever Olympic match. It was a really sad time. It was really emotional. She played with her sister Venus Williams like she always does and this happened on National Sisters Day. It was a very emotional moment because I think it was their last Olympic Games and this is not the way they wanted to go out. They wanted the gold medal for one last time. They're considered one of the best sisters in tennis history and in the Olympics as well. It was a huge upset because this happened in the first round. They lost to the Czechs 2-0. Also number one tennis ranked player Novak Djokovic was also knocked out. What's going on? Moving on, a Syrian refugee who risked her life getting into the Olympics has just won her heat of the women's 100 meter butterfly, but her time didn't qualify her for the semi-final round. Canadian swimmer Santo is seen before every race giving the middle finger to his dad. He does this before every single race. And well, here he is doing it again in real Olympic games giving the middle finger. A lot of people are taking it to social media to say hashtag best ritual ever, hashtag best salute ever, while others are very offended by this. What if the crowd doesn't know that this is his tradition and the middle finger is to his dad? I mean, I'm thinking that he's given the nation the middle finger. Anyone who's out there in the crowd is being flipped off by his bird. And why are you even giving the middle finger? A lot of you guys are probably saying, Well, Landon, why the heck is this guy being so disrespectful to his father? Well, his dad actually told him to do this ever since he was eight years old. And Santo has been doing it ever since. So the meaning behind it, 
I don't know. Moving on, Dr. Ivo Pitangai, the man who invented the Brazilian butt lift, has just passed away at the age of 90 years old. And this is the day after he carried the Olympic flame at the Rio Olympic opening ceremony. Dr. Ivo was considered as one of the world's top plastic surgeons. Okay, beach volleyball is being called the hottest ticket in town in Rio right now, and that's because tickets have been selling out, and it might be because a lot of these Olympic athletes who play beach volleyball, well, they're super fit, and they're super hot. You get to see these ladies and men's in bikinis or topless hitting around a beach ball. To play beach volleyball, I've played before, it's actually super hard, and you gotta be in great shape. It's so hard to move out there in the sand, when the sand is just keeping you down. You need so much endurance, you need so much power as well. Okay, so the medal count at the time of this recording of course because the Olympics is just going on and on and on there's so many events so many amazing events the United States has the most gold medals and for the gold medals well they're actually in a three-way tie with China and Australia but China has the second most medals so they're in second Italy has two golds and South Korea are in fifth place in the Olympics with two golds and five medals overall since we're talking about so much about sports quickly I just wanted to talk about Alex Rodriguez and he just announced his retirement after being released by the Yankees this news shocked millions of fans. It was revealed during a last minute press conference. It was a very emotional press conference for Alex Rodriguez. His last game will be against the Cleveland Indians on August 12th, so make sure to watch that if you're a huge fan of him, because you're going to be watching him play Major League Baseball for the very last time. Alex Rodriguez has been playing baseball for 22 years. He was just 18 home runs shy of Babe Ruth's record. Right now, he is fourth on the all-time home runs list. Alex Rodriguez once had the two highest paid contracts in sports history. One of those contracts was $275 million over 10 years, and the other contract was $252 million, and I believe that was 10 years as well. His current contract was supposed to end in 2017, but obviously it's done now. And just recently, he was surpassed by Giancarlo Stanton from the Miami Marlins. He was just offered $325 million for 13 years. He now becomes the biggest contract in sports history. Getting back to Alex Rodriguez, after 22 years in the league, he is definitely going to be missed. He will now become a New York Yankee advisor. Over the box office on the weekend, it was no surprise, Suicide Squad found themselves on top. They brought in $135 million over the weekend. The budget for the movie is $175 million, so they've almost made their money back. Well, that's just North American. Worldwide, they've already made their money back. I did go see the movie, and you know what? I thought it was amazing. It was actually a really, really good movie. I highly recommend it. Second in the box office was Jason Bourne. The movie is in its second week, and it's still going strong. It brought in over $22 million. For now, a total of $103 million. Bad Moms came third, which is $14 million. Again, that movie's in its second week, so that's actually pretty good. Nine Lives That Came Out didn't do as good in theaters. The movie made around $6.5 million. A movie I'm looking forward to watching is Don't Breathe. Guys, money's probably in there. Who's there? Stay right there. How many of you are there? It's just me, man, all right? Just let me go, please. Oh my god, okay, it's such a scary movie. The movie comes out on August 26th. Are you guys gonna watch it? And you know what, I'm actually not sure if this movie is as scary as Lights Out. I see her too. Okay. It, it's, that movie is just so damn scary and possibly the scariest movie ever. Have you guys seen it? What did you guys think? Well, that's it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching these videos. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, subscribe as well. Land in production, for you guys are going crazy on here. You guys are blowing up this channel. We're getting thousands of subscribers daily, hundreds of thousands of views daily. Let's see if we can get to one million daily views. Let's get to one million subscribers as well. Let's grab that plaque for all of us, for the community here watching. Thank you guys so much for everything. If you want to continue watching, there's two videos right here. Give one of those a click and continue watching news videos. And I'll try to keep you guys as informed as possible. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.